Hi, it's your friends at Live. In this video, we're going to walk through the setup of your new Live Studio. Live Studio is set up with our free mobile app. So the first step is to get the app from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Just search for Live and install the app like you would any other. Once you've got it installed on your mobile device, launch Live and create a Live account, or sign in if you've already created one. Your Live account email and password is what you'll use when signing into all of our Live apps on your devices and computers. For this video, we're looking at the setup experience on an iPhone, but the app behaves pretty much the same way for Android and Kindle Fire users too. All right, next step. Now that you have your Live app and you're signed into your account, go ahead and plug your Live Studio in. As it starts up, you'll notice the light on the front cycle through a few patterns and colors, but it should settle down after a few minutes into a blinking blue pattern, which indicates that Live Studio is waiting for you to set it up with the app. If you see a blinking amber light, that indicates a connection problem. To fix it, just look at the back of the studio and press the pairing button to get things moving in the right direction. All right, step three, we're ready to pair your device with Live. Go back to the Live app and tap the menu icon in the upper left corner. Then tap on Sources, which is where we'll add Live Studio to your account. Just tap the big plus sign here and then tap Continue. Now, for iOS devices like iPads and iPhones, there is a quick extra step needed. Android users, you're off the hook. You can skip forward to step four. On your iOS devices, press the home button to back out of the live app, and then launch the settings app. In settings, just make sure that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are turned on. You'll see a Live Studio Wi-Fi network appear, and if your iOS device doesn't automatically join it, just tap it in the list of networks and then you're good to go. Okay, extra step complete. Let's go back to the live app. All right, this is the last step. Just tap on continue, and then Live Studio will ask you to tell it which network you want to connect to. Just tap on your network in the list, or tap on advanced if your network is hidden. Enter your network name, security type, and password if needed. Next, you'll need to sign into Live one final time to associate the studio with your Live account. Hang in there, you're almost done. One last tap of the continue button and the app will make all of the magic happen. Your studio is now online and all set to go. Your photos and videos will be copied to the studio in the background. Now, go get Live installed on all of your other devices and computers to really take advantage of what Live has to offer. And check out our support site at mylive.com support for more tips and help. And thanks for watching.